Hi, I'm Ben Hanwell, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco, and today I want to talk about some frequently asked questions that I've received regarding the PowerFocus 6000. So today I want to talk about the Virtual Station menu. Now the Virtual Station menu is where we bring all of our programs, all of our configurations together, and we make them work cohesively together as an independent virtual station within the controller. So let's get down into the software. So following along in the software, in a virtual station tab we're going to see quite a few different options, but we're going to step right through all of them. So the first is going to be the name. Now personally I like to leave them set as virtual station one, but if you want to name it, uh, maybe the operation it's on, whatever it may be, you can do that. So we'll just call it op 110 just for, just for example purposes. Next tab down, we're going to choose our tool as well as the tool configuration. Now choosing the tool is going to be in this tab where it's going to give you a list of all the tools connected. And then right below it, we're going to have the ability to choose which configuration we want to use. Now for this example, we've got a cabled tool connected, so we're going to use the cabled tool configuration. The next tab down is going to be the task tab. Now the task tab is going to be where we're going to choose whether we want to run a PSET, whether we want to run a batch sequence, or whether we want to select a PSET or batch sequence from an external source, whether it's a PLC or open protocol. So for this example, I want to use an external source. So I've got a source tightening created here for Profinet connection. So I'm going to leave it set to that. And then directly below that, we've got set manual mode. Now a, a quick bit on what manual mode is. Manual mode is a secondary task that we can default to if there is a external trigger, whether it be from a PLC or open protocol, or whether we have a, a stack light or a key switch triggering the entering of manual mode. And this would be for manual operations if there's an issue on the assembly line or if there is a, a backup mode that we want to enable, this is what we're going to do with manual mode. So I'm going to back out of the manual mode options. I can go down to open protocol. Now for this example, we're going to use Profinet, so we don't want open protocol turned on, so I'm going to leave that set to off. Now we also want to use I.O. So the I.O. that's built into the controller, I want to assign that to this virtual station. So I'm going to go in and choose accessories. I'm going to go to my internal I.O. And I can select the configuration as well as you can see the built-in I.O. to the controller. And now it's going to be associated with that virtual station. Now if I back out of here, you're going to see that the accessory is connected. And if I click on the info tab, I can go into this drop down and go into diagnostics. And from this tab, I'm actually able to monitor as well as force inputs and outputs for troubleshooting purposes. So now backing out again, you can see I've already in Tools Talk 2 assigned a field bus bitmap to this virtual station. So from this tab, what I can do is go into info and there's a diagnostic tab. Now this diagnostic tab gives us the full availability to uh, monitor, the, monitor and or force the uh, field bus inputs and outputs. So this is something that's new to the PowerFocus 6000 and is a great value to the system. And the last tab we're going to have is going to be the general configuration. So this is going to be general virtual station settings. And we created this configuration over in the configurations tab. So for this example, I only have one configuration, so I'm just going to leave it as the default configuration one. Now keep in mind, if you want to add an additional virtual station, at the top right corner, you're going to see the plus button. And that's where you're going to allow an additional virtual station to be added. And you can go through the same process and program an additional virtual station. So I hope that this has been valuable for you. I hope that you've learned how you can connect multiple tools and multiple configurations and programs and connect them all together using the virtual station concept. So if you do have any additional questions, please feel free to contact an Atlas Copco representative so that we can get those questions answered for you.